So it looks like in the last part, we nearly got into a bit of a fight there. <laughs> we, seem to, we seem to be the more physically aggressive one, but I don't know, they're both, Wallace and the protagonist are both aggressive in their own ways. But, uh, you know, and not to mention, like, that provoked me, and I was just like, I'm gonna get ya, I'm gonna have to get you, Wallace. Let's carry on. So Yuri, cheer me up. It was fine. Okay. I mean, if that's what you think, I can't exactly change that. Oh. So Yuri seems to be expecting some kind of reaction from me that I'm apparently not giving. Here, look, look at mine. Hmm. Sounds like it's it's the paradigm of a uh, sort of how a depression affects her. Oh, that's that's sad. I'm really impressed, Sayuri. You show a lot of maturity in this one. Being able to reflect like this is really good, and it actually makes for a pretty good poem. I kind of took inspiration on the poem you read at the festival. I hope people had forgotten about that already, but apparently not. I really like the way you describe the progression that comes with age, and I thought I should add my own spin to it. Yeah, well, it works really well. Thanks. Thanks for sharing. Same to you. She's acting weird. It... This is really odd to say, but if she happens to hang herself in any of these days, I, I don't know, I'm just expecting it now. And I think it's because of the dream, well, the dream that the protagonist had. Natsuki. Eh. Eh? I don't really like this one. Why? It's just not very good. Oh. Okay. Yeah, well, how about you read mine? Okay. <sighs> For goodness sake. It's gonna be like childish, isn't it? Sorry, my ear is really itchy. Okay. Mm hmm. I don't like that one. This is that's probably the only poem that I genuinely don't like. I really like this one, Natsuki. It's quite mature. It's actually really similar to Sayuri's. Is that a bad thing? No. Maturity is good sometimes. It feels really fresh after reading some of the other more fluffy poems. You're not talking about mine, are you? Natsuki's poems can be a bit fluffy at times. Of course not. <laughs> Better not be. My poems take a lot more time and effort than yours do. Ah, okay, Natsuki. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. <laughs> I feel like, even though she teases him a lot, I think Natsuki actually really does like the protagonist. And every time we don't impress her, I think she's disappointed that we didn't... That we didn't take any inspiration from hers. So, it's not just us who's competing. I think the girls might be as well. Yuri, <sighs> my soul. She's gonna be gone, isn't she? She's gonna be taken away. I know I've said this before, John, but I'm deeply sorry for not spending time with you. I wanted to write the poem with you, but as you know, Wallace got first choice. He's... he's actually quite nice. Maybe if you two spent a little time together, you'd realise how similar you are. That's nice. What about... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's nice. What about my <laughs> Ah, yes! Ooh. Hey, hey, come on. Nobody... I'm sure nobody liked this one. Unless... I think Monica did. I don't know. I can't remember. You don't like it, do you? Why are they all like... No one likes it? It's just, it still falls short compared to some of your other works. I really like the idea, but the execution lacks flair. What does that mean? I just think your word choice is a bit... odd. 
Oh. She's starting to sound a bit like Wallace. You could take a look at mine and get some inspiration. Alright. Mirror. Oh, it's so hard to read her writing. I mean, Natsuki might be a little brat, but, like, her handwriting is easily the, the easiest to read. I'm having trouble picking up what this might mean, actually. If we go by context, it's probably something to do with the recent developments with her and Wallace, but I don't know. I gaze into the mirror. She turns and walks away. I watch her back bear secret sins. I think she feels... but I think she's reflecting on what's going on recently, and she feels bad that... She has to kind of decide between these two people, me and Wallace. But because we're so similar, it's like... Difficult. Wow, you found that, that much meaning in your own reflection? Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's quite odd to think about. When I look in the mirror, I see myself looking back at me. But I'm staring at them, or are they staring at me? How do we know which one of us is really real? Which side of the mirror is reality? What if I'm just a reflection and she's real? I have never I personally had this wonder. Not at a deep level. I've always been like, no. No. Y you just know, don't you? I just... She's looking at me because I'm the reflection. What even defines reality? I'm sorry, I probably sound crazy. No, you don't. To be honest, I don't think I ever had thoughts half as deep as that. <laughs> All I know is it makes pr makes for good poetry. Ah, thanks, Sean. Thanks for sharing. You too. Awful day. Awful day, guys. Terrible. So we've done the poem thing like three times, and... I... How are we going to end up with her? Uh, her. Sorry, you can't see behind the mic. <laughs> Monica. Okay. I hope everyone had enough time to share. I've really enjoyed seeing all your poems today. As usual, write another poem to share tomorrow. And also, don't forget to work on your joint poems. Oh, I forgot about that. I'll try to have some time for us to work on them next meeting, but I can't promise anything. See you all tomorrow. John, could you stay behind for a second? Ooh, assertive. Uh, sure. I don't know what this is about. Pardon me. Yuri waits patiently as the others pack up their things. As she's placing a folder into her bag, Monica keeps glancing over at me and Yuri. Good question. This is a pretty good question. Are you sure you're fine with me leaving you two alone, Joel? Of course. Okay. Monica is acting very weird about this situation. Despite my answer, she still seems to be ling lingering around longer than usual. Ooh. Are you going to leave us or not, Monica? Oh, she looks really sad. <laughs> Yuri looks like she's starting to get angry. Monica? Natsuki, Wallace, Sayuri, let's just go. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want to do is spend a little time with it. Oh, crazy eyes. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows them to the door. Hey, Jaun. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. No. 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 Please. Please don't give me this. It's not gonna end the same way as the other one. Please don't. Finally! This is really all I want- I'm gonna sound a bit maniacal. This is really all I wanted. Jan, there's no need to spend the meekhead with Monica. Don't listen to her. I don't care about Wallace. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. Feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. 
Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around- I can hear the breathing and it's actually quite uncomfortable. <laughs> but if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Jan. I have to tell you. I'm... I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care who's listening. Please, John, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I... You... Mm. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside you. I want you all to myself. And I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, John. Tell me you want to be... Oh. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Say it. Do anything. Not again. <laughs> what? What do you mean, not again? I'm not losing another friend. Oh, I see. I can't lose another friend. I wake up with a start. The club room is deserted except for one. Ah. Oh. Another flat. Stop it. Stop doing that. The club room is deserted except for Monica, who's packing up her stuff. Oh, John, you're awake. Sorry, I must have dozed off after I finished sharing my poem. Stay up late watching anime again. Maybe. How does Monica know about that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Just try to get more sleep tonight, okay? You got it. I'll see you tomorrow then, I guess. Yeah, and then this, and then, then again this weekend, and then again this weekend so we can finish our poem. Don't forget. Right. Bye. Monica leaves the classroom, the door swinging shut behind her. Why am I having all these bad dreams? It's it's either Wallace or Monica, and, the, and I think they're trying to, like, psych you out, man. It makes it seem like something horrible is going to happen. Really? I wonder why that is. <laughs> I hope not. But I still can't shake this feeling. I've had this feeling since I started this playthrough. <laughs> Hey, where's Yuri? We've done like four of these. I'm, I'm gonna override this one. Yeah, they've done about four. And you can actually see, in all of them, Yuri's been in there, except for this one. Um, I guess I'll try and go for the Monica then. Monica's ones seem to be all trapped or remin reminiscent of her. Yeah. Slightly similar to uh, Yuri's, though. Existence. Ah, existence is pain. Ah, uh, save. Um, ooh. Maybe that was a command. No, 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 don't overwrite. Don't overwrite. No need. Oh? Yui does not exist. This is new. Uh, reload? Shh. 
еще. That's... I'm with you on this one. Stick with me. We're gonna, we're gonna brave this one together, because something awful's about to happen. <sighs> okay. It's Friday, only one more day until the weekend. I woke up this morning to see that Monica has texted me something about having a few ideas for our joint poem. I actually hadn't really thought about it at all, so it's good to see that she's making progress on it. Good morning, Jan. Hey, Sayuri. Are you excited for the group project today? Of course I am. Why do you ask? I was actually just curious how it was going with Monica. It's coming all right. We haven't really started yet, but yet, she, but she told me she has a few already has a few ideas for what we could do. How? Oh. If I'm being honest, it's a bit overwhelming. She's just so much better of a so much better of a writer than me. I'm sure you'll be fine, Joe. Monica knows you're our novice. It kind of sucks that we couldn't be partners, though, Joe. <laughs> yeah, it probably would work pretty well together. So Yuri and I walk the rest of the way in silence, although she keeps glancing at me occasionally. Flirty. Flirty behaviour. The rest of the day passes at its usual pace. Before I know it, I find myself standing outside the club, club room. I'm a few minutes late, but I enter casually as this isn't out of the norm for me. Did you, did you hear that? We skipped. Hi, Joan. Hey, Monica. You came at the perfect time. We were just we were about to start working on our joint poems. I scan the room and notice that Yuri and Wallace are missing. Where are Yuri and Wallace? It's fine, they can catch up. I'd rather get started on time today. This doesn't sound good. Shouldn't we at least wait a few more minutes for them? Typically, I would say yes, but our schedule is pretty tight. What with the projects and all. Alright. Something doesn't feel right to me. <laughs> Both Yuri and Wallace not showing up to the meeting on time. Could be a coincidence, but I can't shake the feeling that something's going on. I'm probably just getting jealous and it's all in my head. Maybe. Maybe. I hope. Okay, everyone. Let's start this meeting. I was going to have a share our poems first, but since Wallace and Yuri still have shown up, we should start off by working on our joint poems for a little while, just to give them a bit more time to get here. We're okay for time. As Monica notions to me to find a place to sit, Natsuki and Suyuri walk up. Monica? I had a question about this joint poem. Yes? Why... Why do we have to do it? What do you mean? Isn't it fun to work with others and create something new together? Uh, plus, it'll be more fun to see how your personal styles mix. Yeah, that's the problem, though. Our styles don't exactly work the best together. Well... Have you guys started your poem yet? No, not yet, but we have a few ideas. Well, maybe we could change up the groups and John could be my partner. Or mine. I think you and Sayuri can find a way to mix your styles. Ooh, music's gone off. Oh, this is going to be good. Yeah, well, maybe you can find a way to stop abusing your power and spend more time with Joan. I'm not abusing my power, Natsuki. I think you're overreacting. Oh, come on, you... Natsuki, just leave it. Hmm. Natsuki and Sayuri disappear as they go off towards the other end of the classroom to work on their poem. Sorry, I don't know what that was all about. Let's get to work on our poem. Monica and I search for desks to sit at and settle on a pair in the corner. Well, since we don't have too much time before we need to read poems, let's just get an idea down and we can finish up this weekend. Sounds good. So, do you have any thoughts? Well, not really. I just like your style a lot and I'm excited to learn a lot from it. For the first time, Monica gives me a genuine smile. I'm not one of the fake ones she gave when she was addressing the club, but one a friend would give it to, to another friend. Hmm. That really means a lot to me, Joe. It really makes me happy to know that you like my style. Yeah, and I really don't have any other ideas from there. You texted me this morning and said you had some. Suddenly, suddenly Monica's eyes light up. Oh, right! She jumps up and grabs my hand. How about we do a non-it? I've always known that Monica was passionate about literature, but I'm still surprised by her level of enthusiasm. It's just, just after you, my friend. Obvious. Then again, his self-esteem is probably like, bwah, so... I've always admired that style, and with your help, I'm sure we could pull it off. 
just as quickly as her outburst started, Monica has thrown out of her trance and sits down with an embarrassed expression. I'm sorry, I just... It's totally fine, Monica. In fact, I think it's cool how you're so passionate about rising. Mmm, steamed herbs. That means a lot. By the way, what is a non Yeah, I don't actually know either. Basically, it's, it's just a nine-line poem that starts with nine syllables and that goes down by one every line. Oh, I think I remember this in literature ages ago. I don't know. I really like it because it allows the writer to describe something in detail, but still finish with a short and powerful sentence. I really don't love the idea of struggling to fit within the syllable limit, but for whatever reason, I feel the need to make Monica happy. That sounds great. I thought you'd like it. Anyways, do you have any thoughts on what topics we should do? Well, I guess I've always been a sucker for unrequited love, so... How about a poem about someone watching... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Personal. You know, with creative stuff, as soon as you give people the opportunity, often they rely on what's really bugging them. Cathartic measures. And that's what's happening here. How about a poem about someone watching as their love pursues someone else? That's a great idea, Jan. I mean, you set me up for it. Oh. I'm glad we got something down, John, but unfortunately, we have to start getting... We have to... We have to get started with sharing poems or else we're going to run out of time. Of course. I'm going to go get the others. I'll be right back. I really am enjoying my time with Monica a lot more than I expected. It feels good to be noticed by someone as cool as her. But that doesn't keep me from wondering about Yuri. I can't help but notice that she and Wallace still aren't here. It may just be a coincidence, but I really am beginning to think that they're together right now. Okay, everyone. It's time to share our poems. I, I still... That error is still making me think, hmm... <laughs> what time are we on? We're alright. We're alright. Natsuki. That was too wordy, John. More words doesn't make your poem better. Maybe I'll have to teach you something sometime. I can tell Natsuki's trying to get us to spend more time together. As much as I would have liked to in the past, I'm too wound up in what's going on with Yuri to do anything else. Yeah, maybe sometime. Jeez, take a hint. Damn, she won't let me just play it off. Have I gotten this transparent with my feelings? What do you mean? Hmm. Alright, fine. I really do want to spend time with you, but I'm a little swamped right now. Fine, it's like I cared anyway. Just take my poem. Ooh. Let's read that. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've been here for a while, so you probably know what I mean. She's not normally like this. I saw her in the hall the other day walking with Wallace, and she didn't even look at me. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but she's been spending a lot of time with him. I don't know what it is about that guy, but I don't trust him. I never have. He always seems like he's up to something. And the way he talks when he reads my poems, it's like he doesn't even care about it or what he says. I'm afraid that whatever's going on with Yuri is connected with him. I've always wanted to try and be better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I just feel so helpless. So please, if you could do something to help, I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to, just please try and do something. As for Monica, I don't know why. But she's been really dismissive about all this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. I know she's friends with both of them. Why can't she see that something's not right? So I'm kind of mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let anyone else know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading it. Ah, this changes things. Don't worry, I've got it. Masuki's note is just making me more and more sure Wallace is up to something bad. Good, we can trust so you, uh, Natsuki then. I'm gonna do everything in my power to get to the bottom of what's going on here. Thanks. I still don't understand your style, but I can see why the others like it. Thanks for the feedback. No problem. Monica's really lucky to have you as her partner. Yeah, I, I guess. I just kind of feel like we might have worked better together since we've known each other so long. Again, I can see what Sayuri is hinting at, but the groups are already set. Plus, working with Monica is surprisingly nice. Yeah, maybe we could work together next time. Anyways, do you want to see my poem? Of course I do. Right.
A rare flat. Hmm. Is this her personifying our our relationship? Because she's been dwelling on the fact that me and Monica have been together this whole day, actually. So it might not be good. This was good. You don't seem very sure about that. You wrote another poem about flowers, but it's also just kind of sad. That's the point, John. Sometimes things we want really badly never happen. And it is sad. I can't help but feel there's some special meaning to this poem that I'm missing. Yep, you're missing it, doofus. I don't think people cry over flowers. Then again, what do I know about Sayuri and what she feels? Ask her. How are you doing, Sayuri? Oh, you did it! <laughs> we haven't talked recently much about... I'm doing fine, Joe. Are you sure? Of course, I'm great. I know, but I just want to... John, you need to learn to separate the author from their work. It's okay, though. It's it's good to know that you still care. Thanks for sharing. It's moments like these when I feel like the bad guy. Sometimes I feel like if I spend more time with Sayuri, she'd start to feel better. But that shouldn't stop me from romance, right? You too. Ooh. An important question. Um, I'm gonna have to wrap this up in a bit. Let's, let's quickly see Monica's poem. Because last time the flipping cut off and it was annoying. I really like what you did with this one. It kind of feels like this was written for someone. Am I wrong? Uh, yeah. I wonder who it is. Monica's smile makes me feel like she knows I wrote the poem for her. It must be nice to be the focus of someone's poem. It makes you feel like they really care about you. Yeah. I'm sorry for getting so emotional on you. Would you like to read my poem? Of course. Right, let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh. That's really touching. Oh man. <laughs> oh dude. That's really sad. It's still in Monica's signature dramatic style, but this time it feels different. You did something different in this one. I noticed that you normally write about a moment as the character is experiencing, but in this one you're writing reflectively as the character looks back. I really like that. Thank you, Joe. Most of my poems channel the current emotions I'm feeling, or are just built from some random pieces of inspiration I get. But recently I just had a chance to reflect on my life and my actions. Oh. Well, it made for a good poem. Thanks. By the way, I'm sorry for not giving you a writing tip today. I just feel like one wasn't... I just don't feel like one was necessary today. It's fine. That feels like what a president would tell a member, but today it was nice to talk as friends. Thank you, John. Thanks for sharing, Monica. You too, John. Um, alright. And that's it for this one. <sighs> it's getting serious.